Yo, just real fast, I play drums for a band called South Post. We have a new single out. It's called TYT. It's available on all of the platforms, and there will also be a link to the music video at the end of this reaction video. If you check out any of that or check it out in any way, I will love you forever. Smooches. Yo, what up, what up, what up? We are here today with a band by the name of Idols and Illusions, and the song is called This Dying Breath. Now, I have never heard of this band or had never heard of this band until they reached out to me on Instagram. They hit me with a little DM, and um, they are from Saskatchewan, which before this I had never said that word out loud. And they told me that they look to combine crushing heaviness with epic melodies and catchy choruses. So I, I actually reacted to another song of theirs. My camera screwed up. And so I was not able to use that reaction. So that was their newest single. We're going back to their debut single, This Dying Breath. I am expecting it to be a very solid metal core track with some heaviness and some choruses, which is what they're going for. And uh, I'm excited. So, so let's jump in. Coming right out the gate with the super, super heavy. Um, I, I will say this. I, I mentioned this in my reaction to their newest single, which no one will ever see because I told you before the video got fucked up. Um, they This band very much goes for the modern metal sound of the very chopped up guitars, throwing in the chopped up vocal effects, super edited, uh, fake drums, all that good stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, it's, it's not my personal preference, but this is the sound they were going for, and I fully respect that. So I guess that's kind of a disclaimer before we fully jump in. Let's go. Love that. Love this little part, little singy section. Uh, I'm going to add on to what I said earlier by just stating the fact that uh, although that doesn't matter to me, like I said, it's personal preference, personal taste. Uh, uh, to add to that, if the song is good, none of that shit matters. And I understand that in today's metalcore, especially if you are a straight up metalcore band, you got to compete with everybody. You got to sound good. You got to sound um, like the sound. So, anyway, here we go. More. Oof, some really yucky vocals, really yucky screams. Oof, um, I really love that. I respect that. I like the patterns that are going on, some real nice patterns in this tempo, sitting real nice, grooving real nice. Okay. <laughs> Nice. This chorus is nice.
Whoa. Okay. I didn't want to pause it, but I haven't said something in a second. And I just want to say that the screams again, I'm going to reiterate and say this guy's going for it. And I love that. They went full tempo change just now. Let's fucking go. And this sounds like it's a very heavy section. But I wanted to also mention the cleans are very, very nice. Really nice, uh, you know, little dynamic change up there from vocalists between the cleans and, and the heavies. Love it. Back to normal tempo. Let's go. Nice feel change. And repeat of this chorus, little variation in the vocal melody. Very nice. Okay. Uh, certainly that ending fucking hit me hard. God damn. Uh, okay. This is a really, really great metalcore track. As a metalcore fan, this is a great track. And I would definitely listen to it again. And I would definitely check out the rest of their shit. And I will. And you should too. And, um, yeah, props to these guys, dude. I, I respect the, the full blown tempo change as sort of like a mid song bridgey section. And then we brought it back. We got that second chorus and the extension of the chorus. Very nice. Loved it. Um, yeah, it sounds like these dudes are, are, uh, are doing it well. And, uh, look, I hope to the band and to anyone watching this i hope i didn't uh turn you off with my comments of the fake drums and super edited guitar i mean dude i get it i'm in a band i'm a drummer i we record our drums but i fully understand why you wouldn't it's so much easier to not and just use the fake drums it's a money saver i totally get it and the edited guitars and all that i mean like that's just part of the sound now i'm a i'm a big veil vale maya fan there's a prime example right there. Um, so, yeah. But, dudes, this is great. I'm glad I did this. Thank you for uh, for hitting me up. And I, uh, I look forward to your guys' next release. So, thank you for watching. If you are watching, I very much appreciate it. Peace. <laughs>